In this video, I'll be showing you how to create free icons with Adobe Icon Generator from adobeicongenerator.net, and I'll post a link in the description. Just give you a quick overview of each kind of icon, starting with Star Badge. It has this kind of jagged outline instead of all the other ones which are square, and each of these icons shows you a little preview on the side of how big it looks in various pixel sizes. Go type in your text, I recommend keeping it short. There's a maximum of 20 characters, and as you see, if you type in more, it just gets way smaller. This is true for all of these. You can change the background color. You can also use the color picker to check out some more colors, and you can also enter the hexadecimal number down here. In advanced section, you have the glare, which makes this kind of line appear, and an optional shadow. CS4 pretty much the same with all of them you can customize your text this one you only have one background color and the text always stays this kind of black color you have the color picker again advanced you have contrast which makes it look kind of cooler and you have a shadow on the bottom and the glare once again and you have a different alphabet CS5 image you select an image you want. It's better if they're square because it'll crop it. You have a scale option to make your picture bigger and smaller and two color options, one for the main background and one for the top. It looks kinda like a little book like this and contrast, glare if you want it, shadow, same thing CS5, my personal favorite because you have customizable text here and you have one color and then another color for the actual text in the top here and the advanced section you have contrast, glare, shadow, and alphabet again HTML5 is a pretty different style. See, it has this kind of radiating effect. You can also change the middle image. It'll distort it though, so be aware of that. You can change the text if you want. Change the text color, main color, secondary color or subcolor, background color, and line color. If you want to save any of these icons, just click the save icons and it'll save it as a zip folder in your specified destination. So I'm just going to extract this zip folder with WinRAR. You can also do it with the extract all over here or you could double click and copy the folder into another place. It creates three different folders, one for desktop. Android and iPhone icons. There isn't really a difference in these. They're all .png files. Desktop icons has more sizes. This number here is the number of pixels. Square it is. Goes up to 512, which is pretty decent quality. Android has three and iPhone has some too. It also has the 512 and I don't think there's a difference between the 512 in desktop and iPhone folder because they're both .png and they both look the same to me. That's pretty much it on Adobe Icon Generator. Use these icons however you wish. I hope this video has been helpful to someone.